Folks, a very short video today and it's gonna be about this line over here all the way to the right. The Daiwa Gekka Bijin Polyester Fishing Line. I got introduced to polyester fishing line by uh, Randy the Trout Magnet Man. I will link his channel in the description below. But in one of his videos he recommended this line over here. Varivas Master Limited, okay? 2.3 is the highest you can find. I wish I could find 2.7 or 3 pounds of this guy, but there isn't any. But I'm going to be honest with you, until I tried this fishing line, I didn't care much about fishing line. Fishing line was fishing line. Once I tried this guy, a whole new world in fishing opened doors for me. The sensitivity of this line and the casting, I mean, completely different and difficult to, to describe with words because until you try it, you're not going to think it's possible. Uh, but I did the review of this line, incredible stuff, but it has some flaws. And one of them is it's, it's very brittle. It's, it's not reliable. I went on a journey to find a line that feels just as good, cast just as good, but is a little bit more reliable. The next line from the polyester family that I tried was the Daiwa Presso Type E Polyester. I have a review of this one as well. But I tried this line and in many ways it was better than this. It didn't jump out of the spool as much. It was shinier, smoother, it looked more expensive, but it didn't feel the same. It didn't have the same sensitivity, it didn't have the same casting, it didn't have the same user experience. And I'll be honest with you, this line and this line, even though both polyester, they are not close. They are not close. But you're gonna have to watch my reviews of both of them if you want to find more about them. So away they go and next I try this line over here. Another Daiwa line, Gekka Bijin, 2.5 pounds again. Let's dig into this line a little bit. Just like the other Daiwa polyester line, this line looks really expensive. It comes with this really nice cover over here and it, it just looks, come on, not now. It looks, I mean, look at this. Let me see if I can get the light. It looks super shiny, super smooth, like glass. It looks much better than this line. By the way, I bought six more spools of this line. This line out of the box, you can see, does not look nearly as shiny and as smooth as the Daiwa polyester fishing line. So as soon as you open the box, you're gonna have high expectations because, man, does this look good. But let's test the strength. Okay, seems like we're focused. Let's do this. Already I'm feeling a lot more stretch. Remember, this is 2.5 pound line and this is a kilogram tester. Let's do the test and then we'll describe it. Okay. Just a little over one kilogram. That means if you convert this into pounds, it broke at 2.3 pounds. And this is really consistent. And it will break at 2.3 pounds every time. That is without a knot. You tie a knot here and you weaken the line additionally when you tie your hook. And you can expect this line to break instead of 2.3 at Two pounds. Two pounds may not seem like a, a lot to you, but two pounds is, if reliable, two pounds is a lot. You can lift 10, 11, maybe even 12 inch crappie. You can lift it with this line. The biggest strength of this line, 
just like the biggest strength of the Daiwa Presso line is the predictability and reliability and dependability and the confidence in the braking strength. The other advantage is, unlike this line, the Gekka Bijin has exceptional line management. It, it will stay on your spool. It will not jump out of the spool like this guy over here. This guy over here, there is no getting used to this line. It always wants to jump. Very easy time fishing with this line. It doesn't jump, it doesn't bird's nest. If you're a beginner and you want an easy intro into polyester fishing line, you can start with this. However, as it always happens in life, Everything that is a strength is simultaneously a weakness. And that's the case with these two lines here. Because this line stays on the spool and doesn't jump, it will not cast as good as this line over here. I use this line the most with my old major craft, Mebaru Truzer, that I I gifted to Richard Jean the fishing machine. I don't have that rod anymore, but with that line, I was I was having difficulty casting. I couldn't lob. I had to really swing to get the lure where I want it to be. This line over here, I'm using now. I'm using the clear color now, but I'm using it with my new Abu Garcia Eradicator rod which has much smaller guides than the major craft rod. And still with this line, no problems casting, just no problems. This line is, I don't know, made of plastic or something else. It just doesn't stick to itself. The coils of the line do not stick to itself. Again, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing because you cast and it jumps out of the spool and you get a bird's nest. But if you don't get a bird's nest, oh my god, you didn't know that you could cast 50 feet with one gram jig. That's just not possible with this line, I, I, I can tell you. So casting distance, not comparable to this line here. And the biggest difference with my Varivas line, again, is the sensitivity. The sensitivity, guys, is is not the same. This line is pretty sensitive, but at the end of the day, it really, it really feels like fluorocarbon line. I have some uh, four pound cigar in Visex fluorocarbon line here. If both of these lines came in the same breaking strength, I have to tell you, I have fished both of them. I mean, they feel kind of the same to me. I, I cannot, tell people to go out of their way and buy this line to feel something different. You will not feel anything different. It just feels like fluorocarbon line. It's excellent line. Like I said, I, I'm going to repeat for third time. Everything is good. Line management, casting distance is good. Everything is good. Sensitivity is good too, but cannot compare to this guy over here. Okay, so if you want some extreme sensation, it, it, if you don't believe in sensitivity, like I didn't believe in sensitivity, and you want to buy a line, not, not to catch fish, but just to, just to see what is possible in terms of sensitivity, get you one of these guys here. Again, don't buy any of the lines I showed you in this video as a single item and, and pay shipping. But if you are buying a reel or a rod from Japan anyway, before you submit your order, make sure you get some JDM jigs and some, some of this line. Okay, get some of this. And if you want to try polyester line, but you are afraid of line that makes bird's nests, all the time and that is brittle and unreliable you still want to try polyester wine get the Daiwa Gekabijin or get the Daiwa Presso whichever you find at that, uh, at that specific Japanese vendor because for the life of me I cannot tell these two lines apart 
when I fish with them, they look the same, they feel exactly the same. Whichever you get, I cannot tell the difference between these two. But in a blind test, I will always tell the difference between these two lines, or these two lines, or these two lines, or any other line and this line. This line is something else. So instead of review for the Daiwa Geka Bijin line, it, it turned into something of a review of this line again. But anyway, this is what I have. Hey, I appreciate you spending time on my channel. I really do. But uh, this is all I have for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.